What's up everybody? Sean here with Weston, just here to talk about our new collab for the season with Trickster Company out of Juneau, Alaska. This collab we actually did in partnership with a bunch of different Colorado and uh, mountain based brands. So we've got Smartwool, Zeal Optics, Mountain Flow Eco Wax, and Pret all involved in addition to the artist Crystal Worrell from Trickster itself. Um, we're calling it the Salmon Way of Life and we're calling the collaboration of brands the Haani Alliance. Um, so Haani in Tlingit, it means our land, and that's the background that Crystal Worrell is from. She's a Tlingit um, indigenous native out of Juneau, Alaska, and artist up there as well. So we're pretty pumped about this collab. You know, it's all part of our mission series, which is products with an intent to give back and support important causes that are important to us and the communities where we go and shred. And up in Juneau, we've actually got a pretty cool little community there. A bunch of our guides live up there. We've got Alaska Powder Descents, which is a heli-op right out of town. So, you know, Alaska is kind of a mecca shred destination for us. And we felt it was important to, you know, bring a little bit back to be stewards of the land while we're up there as well. You'll notice on all these top sheets, you know, the prominent piece is the salmon in Tlingit culture. Um, and it's actually form line design, which is the artistic style that their people practice, um, which is pretty rad. And Crystal has now become pretty internationally renowned. She's doing artwork for Alaska Airlines. If you're in Juneau itself, she's got murals around town, art in the sidewalks. It's really cool to see this cultural renaissance coming through. Um, and showing up in Juneau. So we're pumped to have her, you know, partnering with us and, you know, sharing that story as well. You know, and one of the problems we discovered in chatting with her is that, you know, the salmon runs are depleting year over year. You know, and her people used to and still do rely on the salmon runs for sustenance. But even more than that, it's a part of their community, their kinship, their ancestry. So it's a really unique perspective that I think we often miss in Western or Western culture, um, you know, the salmon provide the opportunity for people to come together and gather around. It's part of their creation stories. Like the salmon is really integral to their lives. And meanwhile, their people are no longer able to get some of the salmon that they used to, you know, the salmon runs aren't making it inland up to some of the Tlingit villages further up into Alaska. Um, actually when we were just there, they did an emergency closure of one of the river mouths um, to fishing because the salmon run had gotten so low for this season. So just bringing a little bit perspective, like this is something we need to respect and live in balance with and make sure that everybody can enjoy going forward. So our give back component is through 1% for the planet. We found three different salmon foundations uh, to help protect spawning grounds globally. Um, and a portion of the proceeds will be going back towards that. So Weston came across Crystal actually in a bit of our own personal mission. Um, you know, seven years ago we had graphics that were inspired by some of these locales, but they weren't actually done by native artists, um, indigenous artists. And so, you know, last year we featured Vernon Key um, out of New Mexico with his traditional Navajo designs with a little bit of a modern flair. You know, and this year we have Crystal, so, you know, did some internet sleuthing and found her on Instagram and, you know, formed a connection there. And, you know, over the last two, two and a half years, which is how long this collab's been, you know, in the making, um, we formed a bit of a friendship between, you know, myself, Weston, Crystal, and, you know, just beyond pumped to bring this, you know, uh, Trickster Company, which is what Crystal's a part of, started by making skateboards and that first skateboard graphic was actually a salmon as well and so it's really cool to see how she's describing that there's this interplay of salmon in her life around bringing people together you know she's not a skater by background but all her friends are and she's like it gave her so much pride to be able to provide something of you know their culture to the skate community and it's the same way for her with skis and boards she does actually ski um, but you know she's as much or more excited to be sharing that graphic with anyone else around her. And, you know, that was a bit of her mission and communication as well in making these. Like, she wants people to get out there. Like, when you're repping these designs, 
it's okay for you to be out there shredding that. Like she wants to share that with you. And all she's asked, we were like, what's one thing that someone can do, you know, when repping these graphics? And she was like, be curious, you know, be curious about other cultures, you know, develop some empathy for their perspectives and learn from them. Um, you know, and there's a lot that can be learned for conservation and living in balance with nature from the Tlingit culture if you dive down a little deeper and learn about where all this comes from. So within this collection, we've got three pieces. Um, we've got the backwoods, both solid and split. We've got the skyline skis and we've got the eclipse solid and split. So the backwoods actually taking an award from Backcountry Mag again for, I believe it's the third or fourth time over the years. This is pretty much our go-to board. It's the daily driver for most of the people on the crew, best selling, designed for the person who wants to shred, make some surfy turns, tight trees. You know, it's a free ride board hidden behind a powder shape is what we always call it. So, you know, as long as you're not looking to land switch in the park repetitively, you know, this is pretty much a daily driver that most people we feel should be on especially in the backcountry, you know, when you've got a pack on and all that, you're probably going to be riding directional most of the day. And this board will make sure you're having a good time. In the split version, you know, we've got the holes tip and tail for our new Western skins that we're doing with Pomoka as well. So it makes for a really seamless integration, super easy to rip them off, put them on. You can actually leave the board together um, as a result of the eyelets when you have the skins. So instead of trying to manage four different pieces in the back country, you know, you can kind of leave it all together until you're done with your transition. Nice. Which is super nice. Skyline ski is actually in our free ride construction. So this year we launched a whole new variation of the Skyline Summit and Grizzly. So now we have the carbon and we have the free ride. And the free ride is going to be representative of a little bit more of your daily driver, a little bit heavier, but a little bit more damp, um, and a little bit stiffer and more responsive as well as a result. So ditch the carbon, make it a little bit more durable board, a little lower price point, um, definitely a good daily driver. And the shape, it's a 95 underfoot. So this is a ski that's really great for, you know, your daily laps on the hard pack or the groomers at a resort. Or if you're looking to go long distances in the backcountry and you're going to have a bunch of variable terrain, you know, the Skyline is going to be your go-to. And the same eyelets up in the nose for Weston skins. So make it super nice and easy. And then the Eclipse. We've been trying to move towards more of a unisex approach to our line, but the Eclipse is designed with more of the female shredder or a smaller shredder in mind. So it's somewhat of the sister to the backwoods but it's still unique in shape. You've got a crescent moon in the tail. So it gives it a little bit more drop in the tail, a little less surface area for that powder. But same idea, it's gonna be that board for trees, powder, surfy turns, you know, and it's that free ride board hidden behind a powder shape still. Also featuring the new eyelets for skins. So make it super easy, especially with that um, half moon shape in the tail. If you've been out there and tried any more of the unique shapes, skin attachment can sometimes be a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. So would highly recommend, you know, going with the pre-cut skins that we've got. All these feature rugged top sheets as well. So it's based out of castor bean oil. It's kind of, you know, a version of rhino lining for the top sheet of your board, <laughs> you know, helps wick snow and it'll also make it super resistant to dents and scratches. The other cool part we're super stoked for is the collaboration between all these brands. You know, it's really challenging to bring, you know, five major outdoor industry brands together to coordinate a product launch all at the same time, years in advance, you know, production cycles. So this collaboration has a ton of cool items coming through it. You're going to see Zeal goggles um, with the artwork on the straps. You're going to see Pret helmets with the artwork around the back side of the helmet. You're going to see Mountain Flow Eco Wax with the packaging itself um, representative of the board artwork. And you're going to see Smart Wool coming in with socks, t shirts, hats. So, really bringing everything to life. And, and I think it's just from start to finish, you know, really intentional product collab and 
you know, even with the wax, it might be a small thing, but when you think about watersheds and how our impact of skiing affects everything downstream too, you know, it's really bringing it together. And we're actually putting mountain flow on all of our board stock out of the factory this year as well. So pretty cool stuff.